Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip is actually about the app on here and how you can actually start to utilize it immediately. Um, sorry, swiping in and out just to make sure my phone doesn't lock real quick. <laughs> All right, so first thing first, if you are looking to actually download your app on here, it's very simple. All you'll need to do is go to the app or the Play Store and you can download that brand new app. All right, so in this case, I'm going to go to my app store since I have an iPhone. I've got my little app icon on here for the app store. I don't know why I just clicked right there. And of course, if you're on the place or the, if, sorry, if you have an Android, you'll want to go to the Play Store on there. All right, and once I click on App Store on here, then I can actually search for the app immediately. So I'm going to click on this little search option at the bottom right down here. All right, and I can type inside Keller Williams. And as you can see, it automatically pops up with Realty on here. All right, so I'm going to search for Kel Williams Realty, and the brand new app is available. It's now going to say KW Buy and Sell Real Estate. Previously, it said Keller Williams Real Estate on there. Now, you will notice it is still technically the red app. Everyone calls it the red app because it had a red background with a white KW. They flipped that on us. It's now a white background with a red KW, but you could still call it the red KW app. Now, if you've already downloaded this previously and you have an iPhone, it will have the little cloud option so you can download from the iCloud. All right, or in this case, if you don't, then it'll have something. Let me go down real quick, like on Realtor.com, for instance, it'll just say Git. Now, over on an Android, I believe it will actually say Download on there. Um, don't quote me on that. Uh, unfortunately, I'm an Apple user. All right, but if I click this little Download option on here, all right, it's going to start to download right away for me. There you go. So as you can see, it is currently downloading. And once it is completed, I can click that open option to open this immediately. Now, one thing to note about the KW app, there currently is not a, a login for an agent to utilize on there. So I'm going to click the open option. It's going to open up this app. So I am going to allow it while using the app. And I'll allow it to send notifications on here too. All right, and then as you can see, signing up or logging in lets you save your searches, start a collection, access insights from local experts, and more. All right, so in this case, you can sign up, you can log in, or I can just click the X button up here if I just want to pass over all this. Now, if you've already signed up, fantastic, click the login button. If not, you can click the sign up option. Now, this is acting as if you are the consumer utilizing the app. So a lot of agents are asking, you know, oh, I'm trying to put inside my login and password for my KW or command and it's not working. All right, well, you would actually want to sign up like a consumer so that way you can utilize it. All right, the back end of your app will very soon be command mobile. All right, but for the time being, it'll actually be command. All right, so if I click that login option on here, I'm going to go and use my little face ID. Thank you, Apple. It's one of the coolest things ever. I love that thing. All right, so I'm going to log in real quick. And voila, I have now downloaded the app and I can utilize it immediately. All right, now a couple big things to take a look at on the app that we have on here. Obviously, the first thing we're going to notice is going to be the search section. This is where you can actually go through and much like on your command website, that IDX site that just launched, you can actually search by neighborhoods and it's going to pop up based on where you're located. You can even click the draw button at the top right and you can actually draw around where you want it to display. That is a horrible circle, so I'm going to get rid of that real quick. All right, now outside of that, I can also click the feed option at the bottom down here to see any of the feeds that are coming through. The guide section, if you've watched our other tip, where we can actually see the buying and selling guide on here. So that way the consumer in this case can actually go through and access this guide directly, all right, to get an idea as to what they need to do during their buying or selling process. All right, and once they've actually completed it, they can click the mark step as completed option at the bottom down here to access that immediately. All right, or same thing with selling. And as you can see, there's even a little dot up here. It's kind of hard to view. There's a little dot that we can see as well that'll take us through the different options. All right, then of course, we can also see the save sections on here. All right, so any type of option we may have saved, all right, we can actually access that even further over here for our properties. All right, and then one of the biggest changes is if you notice, there's not the three lines at the top left that used to be on there. It's now going to say you at the bottom right down here. And there we go. So as you can see, now we can see our saved collections and even our recent saved searches on here. Now at the bottom right, it does say you, and this is going to be for our settings section. So previously it was at the top left, had the three lines. Now it's at the bottom right. All right, we can actually see our history on here. All right, so much like over on a web browser, you can see your history. 
All right, I'm not going to make you guys wait for all that to pop up. Well, it pops up a lot quicker than I thought it would on my internet, so I appreciate that. <laughs> all right, so I can see my recently viewed on here as well. A couple cool homes. All right, I can also view my account on here too if I want to update my password, my profile, places. I can add inside a co-buyer. I can view my agent on here, and this is where I can actually view the agent profile, contact the agent, change the agent, remove the agent. So if you are not linked up properly to yourself on here, this is where you can actually go through and change that agent immediately. And once I click on it, I can search for the name, city, or state to find that immediately too. Whoops, did not need to go that far back. Sorry about that. Awesome. All right, I can also leave feedback, obviously, on the app in case there are any issues, glitches, anything going on. And more importantly, I can share the app on here. All right, so as you can see, I can actually go through and share that immediately with any of the people I've been texting, obviously down here with my messages, mail, Facebook, uh, any of the apps that I have on here. All right, so it's a little bit different than before where it would just say, hey, do you want to share it via email? Do you want to share it via text? All right, or do you want to share it on the social media platforms? All right, so in this case, I can actually go through and share this right away. All right, so this is how you can actually start to utilize this app. Now, as a KW agent, start to play around with it. All right, that's the best way to really get used to it. And of course, have your clients go through and look for that update option in the app or the Play Store. That'll help to update this immediately. If I did not have it download, or if I did have it downloaded, if I'm over inside my App Store, at the top right, you can click on your picture, maybe your initials, all right, then that'll actually allow you to go through and see if there are any new apps for you to download. So as you can see, I can view my updated recently ones, and then I can actually go through, open that, or download it even further. All right, so that'll all be available on here for you to utilize. All right, so I just want to give you a heads up of how simple it is to actually access this right away for your new KW app. All right, so it's a fantastic new app that just launched. I think you guys are going to thoroughly enjoy it. It looks phenomenal. It looks sleek. It works great. I already love it. So hopefully you guys will start to love it too, and hopefully the clients of yours will love it as well, because this is obviously built for the consumer experience, and I think this is going to be a huge game changer for you guys. All right, so there you go. So that is your KW command, KW app tip for the day.